Hello, friends, and welcome to another Let's Read Together story time with me, Miss Nicole. And we are going to be doing some reading and some counting today. So let's practice real quick. How many fingers am I holding up? Good job. One, two. All right, now. How about now? Good. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, last one. How many? Awesome job. That's three. One, two, three. Good job. So we are all ready to go for our story time. But before we get ready, let's go ahead and check in with ourselves. So if you need to pause right now to take a deep breath or to check in with yourself, feel free to do so. How are you guys feeling today? So you know me, I am always at a zero because I am excited every week to be reading to you. So if you're excited like me, you're at a zero. If you're happy, you're at a one. If you're content, you're at a two. If you're sad, you're at a three. If you're mad, you're at a four. Or if you're just feeling frustrated today, you're at a five. Any number is okay. I just hope I'm able to at least put a little bit of a smile on your face by the time we're done. If you're ready, let's go ahead and get into our story time schedule. So we always start with our hello song, and then we do our books to the ceiling song, and then we're going to do our 2468 shake song, and then it will be time to read our story of the week, and then we'll do a new song, which is called Number. And then we do our good books, good time song, and then it will be time for us to sing goodbye, but we are not ready to sing goodbye because we have to say hello first. Let's go ahead and get our hello hands out so we can say hello to each other. And remember, we do the song two times. Here we go. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. I hope that you are too. Hello, hello. Hello and how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I hope that you are too. Good job. Now we do our books to the ceiling song. Here we go. Books to the ceiling, books to the sky. My pile of books is 10 miles high. How I love them. How I need them. I'll have a long beard by the time I read them. Good job, friend. Now go ahead if you want to find an open space because we are going to do our 2468 shake song. All right, friends, here we go. Let's do our 2468 shake song. So remember, we start off with the number eight and we're shaking each hand and arm and each leg and foot. We're shaking it eight times and then six and then four, two, and then we'll do one big shake and a blast big jump. So here we go, two, four, six, eight, shake. So we'll start off with our right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we switch to the next hand and arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then switch down to your leg and foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Now we count to six. Start back up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And shake again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Switch down. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then switch again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. All right, here we go. Now we count to four. Back up here. One, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, switch down. One, two, three, four, switch. Good job. Okay, now it's gonna get a little faster now. We count to two. Here we go. We're gonna add two jumps at the end, ready? One, two, switch. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. And then two jumps. One, two. Good job. All right, now we do one big shake each section and one big jump at the end. Here we go. One, 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 one. Good job, friends. All right, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty loosey-goosey. So let's settle in and get ready to read our story of the week, which is brought to you by Sesame Street. So our pals here on Sesame Street are going to be showing us numbers in the community with the book, 
I see one, two, three. Count your community with Sesame Street. Let's see, how many books do we have here? So in the first row, we have one book. Second row is one, two books. And the third row is one, two, three books. Good counting. Tall buildings have many floors. The elevator counts the floors as it moves up. So as you're going up a tall building, each floor is numbered. One, two, three, four, and they'll keep going up and up and up depending on how tall the building is. And that's a fact. The Empire State Building in New York is 102 floors high. So imagine counting from one to 102, and that's how many floors the Empire State Building has. Wow. Elevators are wonderful. You can count along as you ride. If you've ever been in an elevator, sometimes you can see the numbers up on the screen. Sometimes it'll say one, two, three. Those are the numbers telling you which floor you're on in the building. Look around your room at home. You can count your favorite things. So go ahead and take a look around right now. What can you count? Bert says, I like counting my paper clips. See, one, two, Three, counting keeps us safe at the crosswalk. A timer starts with big numbers and counts down. It counts backwards. Only eight, seven, six, five seconds left. So sometimes if you're waiting to cross the street with a grown up and you see the sign across, sometimes it'll have a hand up like this and a number and it's counting down to zero. When it hits zero, then that's when you'll be able to go and make sure that it's green. That's a fact. Many crosswalk signals make sounds to help people who have trouble seeing. So for those who can't see very well, there is also a sound that goes that lets the person know that the number has reached zero and the sign has turned green, which means go or walk. Remember to hold a grown-up's hand while you cross a street. And that is super important, my friends. The grocery store is full of things to count. You can pick up, how many apples are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four apples. And then you can choose, well, let's count the bananas now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six bananas. And that's 10 pieces of fruit all together. You can count them all up and that will equal 10. The grocery store is full of things to count. You can pick up, how many apples are there? Let's count. One, two, three, four apples. And then you can choose, well, let's count the bananas now. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six bananas and that's 10 pieces of fruit all together. You can count them all up and that will equal 10. Count while coloring. The green group of crayons is bigger than the purple group. So there are more green crayons and there are fewer purple crayons. So that means if we count the green crayons, which is one, two, three, four, five, there are five green crayons. While if we count the purple, there is only one, two, two. So five is bigger than two, which means there are more green crayons than there are purple crayons. Elmo uses lots of colors in Elmo's drawings. How many different colors do you count? Well, how many colors can we count? Let's see. We have, well, there's blue and there's brown and green and red and black and orange. And oh my goodness, how many can you count? That's a fact. The biggest crayon making company makes 12 million crayons a day. Whoa, imagine if you had 12 million crayons. That is some serious coloring. What can you count while you're on the go? Bike wheels zoom by. I see two, four, six wheels in a line. What else can you count by twos? So counting by ones means we're counting one, two, three, four, but we're counting by twos means we're counting in pairs. So one bike has two wheels. 
And then the other bike has two more wheels. So two plus two equals four. Then we have the third bike that has another two. So we got two and four and six. And that is counting by twos. There are two people and two wheels on a tandem bike. So that is cool. So if we count, there are two people and then there are two wheels on the bike. That's a pretty cool bike, huh? Kids kick their feet in the pool. Each foot has five toes. There are five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 toes. That's a lot of toes. I like to play with toys in the water. How many toys can you see? Oh, let's see friends, how many toys can we see? We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Good counting, that's a fact. A swimming pool for the Olympics is 164 feet long. Wow, that's pretty long. It is exciting to go to the bowling alley. There are 10 pins in each lane. Can you count the pins? You can count the pins by tens. Count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 pins. Bowling pins can crash so loudly. I love it. <laughs> of course he does. Hang up your coat when you come inside. First, there are three coats hanging up. Then one more coat is added. How many coats are there now? So can you count the coats all together? Four, good job. I, Super Grover, always hang up my cape when I have finished saving the day. Well, that's a fact. The coldest place on earth where people live is in Russia. You would need a coat to keep you warm there in the negative 76 degrees temperatures. Well, that's really cold. The library, hey, that's where I work at, is full of things to count. There are seven library books on a shelf. You can check out one book. How many books are left? So if you have seven books and you take one away, how many do you have left? So next time you book an appointment to come to the library, feel free to count with your eyes how many books you see. I like to read books and look at the pictures, and I can count the pages in the books too. So lots of ways to count. The playground is busy. The first kid has a red shirt. The second kid has a shirt with stripes. What color shirt is the third kid wearing? Good job, Blue. I hope you have enjoyed our counting journey. <laughs> what will you count next? That's a fact. Most playground slides are 24 inches across. That's two feet or six centimeters. The end. Oh, but my friends, so we don't have to stop the story then. You can continue on because look, after we're done reading the story, you can go ahead and go back to the pictures and count the slimies. This is Oscar's pet worm, Slimy. He's been visiting the pages of this book. Go back and count all the slimies you find. So that's something you can do after the story. Now it's your turn. How many ways can you show five? So how many ways can you show the number five on your fingers? So feel free to go back and reread the book. Make sure you do those challenges. So speaking of numbers, we are going to do our number song. And it goes like this. Feel free to follow along with me. Count our numbers, count our numbers, count our numbers every day. It is fun to count our numbers as a class every day. It is pretty fun to count, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll count today. It is fun to count together. One to ten and then again. Oh, good counting, my friends. So you can count one to ten anytime you want to practice. And feel free to use this song to help you practice, too. All right, but now let's get into our Good Books, Good Time song. So let's clap our hands. We're gonna start in three, two, one. Here we go. Good books, good times, good stories, good rhymes, good beginnings, good ends, good people, good friends, good fiction, good facts, 
good adventures, good acts, good stories, good rhymes, good books, good time, good job, friends, round of applause. All right, friends, it is that time now to sing our goodbye song, but only until next time. So remember, we clap our hands, then we stomp our feet, and then we wave goodbye. So let's sing our goodbye song together. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Now we stomp our feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. And now we wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye, goodbye. My friends, thank you so much for all of your awesome counting today. And make sure to count around your house. And next time you are going out safely, whether it's to the store or maybe walking around, see what you can count outside. There are so many things to count. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.